Alrighty. Hello guys, it's me Carl Santos, aka Happy Carl 957, and welcome to another edition of NASCAR Heat 5 Career Mode. So as you can see I'm in the home screen right now for career mode and I'm checking the point stains to see where I am in trucks and cup and all that. I mean it's amazing how well I did in both of those series at Daytona. Well, except for trucks, but yeah, we'll get to the bottom of it once I get to Las Vegas and improve from there. So, so one of my weaknesses in running stage races is getting those stage points. You know, like like when's the front half of the field gonna like actually pin or not? And then once I get the lead, they'll eat me all up and. You know, and I lose those stage points because of tire wear and so forth and how quick they are. So, so here's my qualifying lap for the trucks. And I, not too well, 26 out of 32 cars. So, so let's see if I move up a few spots because of failed post rate, eh, failed post qualifying inspection. So. Let's see. Hold on, hold on. Brett Moffin has to go to the back. So that's one car to not worry about. So possibly I'll be starting 25th. So let's go racing at Las Vegas style. Hit me roll. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a money line advertiser, so hear me roar, hear me roar, roar. <laughs> Sorry about my English. <laughs> so enthusiastic, so. So for the trucks, they run during the night time because, you know, that's where most of the drivers can maneuver around in traffic and get good battles around the track instead of all these flat tires that you see during the day, so. Well, basically at night time, the speeds are up, the grip level is high. You can you can say this is a good se bottom feeder series to run in if you're a rising cup star. So, so basically, it won't take that long to get to the front. Just gotta be patient. That's all. And only. Uh, who's who passed me? It's one of the Nice Motorsports cars. Al Nice is a uh, hmm. I don't have my uh, you know what contacts on or glasses because yeah I, I gotta keep squinting because. I can't see the car numbers and so forth, so. But I don't want to, so. So let's fast forward to the end of stage one. I dropped myself back to 30th, and. Uh, make sure I don't tap the apron, so. Yep. Just finish 30th in stage one, so. Hmm, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna pit, make a few adjustments, and just start from the back. That's it. <laughs> See, I'm a lot of adjustments I'm making, I'm telling you. Hmm, what do you think? Don't you think it's hard to make adjustments like that? Hmm. So, let's get this restarted. Let's get this race restarted already. <laughs> okay. So I got Jennifer Joe Cobb on my left side. And hopefully I can move on from the back. So, usually like Kyle Larson, I usually want to run the high lane. 
because that's where he gets the most momentum, gets the most grip, and basically gain the most positions like that. But at the start of a run, I usually want to run the bottom because that's where everybody wants to like run their fastest laps in a short run, the bottom feeders. High lane, I would, but I wouldn't suggest, you know, because you'll wear your tires down quick, so. So I passed my, Mike Harmon for 27th, or 26th, I'd say. And hook the apron right there, and move up to 25th to pass Clay Greenfield, so. So, I'll catch you guys later, and hopefully by the time I get up to the front, I'll be somewhere in the top 15 or top 10. So, fast forward to the end of the race. And we're back, so it's uh, three laps to go. I'm in the top 15. I'm trying to pass, I believe, Ben Rhodes or Johnny Sonner. I can't see, but. Just, and the costume comes out at the right time. Oh, my lord. Oh, it says Ben Rhodes. I'm correct. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna see me squinting a lot whenever I want to see who I'm passing or how many laps left or whether I'm in the top 10 so. so let's get this overtime finish away with so I'm behind Austin Hill and Matt Crafton so shouldn't be an issue passing these two cars right here and I'm gonna easily do that Sorry guys, <laughs> I guess the video got caught off, cut off a little bit, so, so here's the final lap, passing Johnny Sauter, and I believe that's Natalie Decker, who I believe in the game is really good at the mile and a half, which shouldn't be, because 
She rarely run, runs in the top 10, so. I can't believe 7 or 4 games would let Natalie Decker run that well in a Nice Motorsports car, so. Let's see if I can get a place and looks like I'm not going to be able to, too, so. so. That was the Stratosphere Las Vegas 200, so. Lost that 8th spot to Zane Smith, and the winner was Grant in Finger in the number 98 champion forward. So that was quite a race, I'm telling you. I really loved it so far. So, so just to let you guys know, if you want to subscribe for more content, click on that red bell button. Like if you love the video so much so far and comment as much as you want. So, so to, just to let you guys bring that up or me bring it up. So. <sighs> Take a deep breath, Mr. Santos. You got this. <laughs> so, I will fast forward to Sunday's race. For the NASCAR Cup Series soon. I'll, I hope you guys stay tuned. So after I came from the truck garage, 
I move on to the NASCAR Cup Grounds and just run my race. And I forgot to show you my one lap run of qualifying around Las Vegas and it was a pretty good one. Qualify 20th and let's just wait and see how well I do. So let's see. Oh, the guys behind me. They went to the back. Eric Almirola and Tyler Reddick. So it looks like I keep my spot. So yeah, I get to run the high lane all day long in Las Vegas. So be the next Kyle Larson. So and you know what about Kyle Larson in 2018? He finished third and second in those two races. Like those were the best runs of his life. I mean. I know he wasn't like a championship caliber driver at the time, but, well, he could be a contender in the future depending on if his uh, suspension gets lifted from NASCAR and gets reinstated, so. I've been fighting really hard since last April for Larson to plead his case, you know, and for him to ignore those rumors, those spells that he's had about wanting to return to NASCAR all he said is shut up and I'm gonna show you how I win races in dirt so <laughs> I'm telling you so here's my uh, short run speed in lap 3 so far and I'm gonna be fast forward a few laps and show you where I am right now, so I'm in 20th right now. So the caution came out for some unknown reason that I don't know of. So, well, I'm up to 10th right now, so still stage one, I believe. And oh, stage two already. <laughs> I'm, I must have, hmm, I didn't see whether or not our, I pitted, but. You can guy you guys can look. So So I'm having a great run so far. Like I'm not lying. This is legendary AI difficulty. Which I had never done before. Never expected this amount of speed in this car and I just hit the setup. Race two of the season and <sighs> spoiler alert. I'm already up to the Coca-Cola 600 Astronomer Speedway, so I'm doing a nice job putting these YouTube videos up already and just hoping that these cup owners can give me a high profile ride, including Tony Stewart, so. And then, yeah, I'm not returning to Chip Ganassi since Kyle Larson got suspended or fired from the team, so. Never again, Chip. I mean, you gotta tell your driver to never do bad things on the internet, you know, especially in the iRacing world, so that's all I have, all I have to say, so. Hmm. I usually don't like recording the middle of the race, but. I will fast forward to the part where Eric Almirola hooks me to the in my left rear and just almost sends me to the inside wall. So catch me on that video. Oh, soon.
to the green, driver. Almost ready. Bring it down, let's go. So, I guess this is an overtime, well, it's regulation, so, 67 laps is the advertised distance, so, let me see, 100 miles, so, if there's a caution before the leader gets to the white flag or whatever you call it, the start finish line, then I guess the racing isn't over, you know. Am I singing the other way around? Before he gets there. Then, there's still multiple attempts of a green light checker. So I got this right in my head. But in this game, once the leader is in the final lap and has crossed the half the distance of the Back straight. Oh, Eric Almirola spins me to the inside wall. <laughs> Didn't want to miss that commentating. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, two laps to go. No yellow flag for that one. <laughs> so, the point of that green white checkers. Yeah, I wish I had one right there, but. <laughs> yeah, once you pass the halfway mark of the back stretch. The race is over. That's all I have to say. I, especially if it's two laps to go, but one lap to go, you already passed the white flag. End of the race. So, I'm trying to get my top 20 goal objective. And Cole Custer doesn't want to give it to me. <laughs> he just blocked me right there. I thought it was a flat spot on my tires, but oh well. Get 21st at the Pendulum 400 at Las Vegas. Not a bad run, at least. Speed rating of about 100, so. I'm gonna show you the replays from the race from Las Vegas. So. Top, bottom right, left corner, you'll see the description of what I was doing, like passing for X place versus. If I cause the caution, so. And then the top, on the top is, what lap number is it? It is on, so. Just some uh, experimenting of what thumbnails I want to use, so. But the Eric Almirola trying to hook me in the left rear, that's going to be my uh, thumbnail, and that's how I titled it, so. 
I'm not gonna send him a tweet since I don't have a Twitter account, so... I don't think Eric Alamorello would like it if I sent him that post on Instagram since he's a real-life driver, he's a celebrity, NASCAR celebrity, I'd say, but he's not up there like the Kyle Bushes, the Kevin Harvards, or Martin Trick Jr. as far as running up there in the front, but... But for Eric, lately, especially... In I think Pocono he's running around, Indy, he was spectacular, and Kentucky, I'm telling you, he led a bunch of laps and left Kyle Busch hanging, so, he'll, he'll be a playoff contender, I'm telling you, so, I make a happy time tonight, 57, and y'all have a great day, good I am, peace!